First of all, I want to give God the glory for everything that he is doing and has already done in my life. I'm so thankful and it's because of him I have the courage to get up here and even make a video. Everything that I've done on this page is because of God and that's why I've dedicated it to him. And I'm thankful because I don't even know who I was let alone four years ago to last month, God is forever changing me and, and helping me reevaluate things and healing me. And that's where that peace comes in. He has broken so many shackles off of me. Um, things that I didn't even know that were hurting me, um, things that were hindering me, things that were causing my judgment to be misconstrued. I am so thankful to God because he took the blinders off of my life. He took the blinders off and allowed me to truly see what I was dealing with, to truly see who I am and to truly understand whose I am. And so that's why I'm doing this is to let, let somebody out there know that God loves you unconditionally and he wants to do the same exact thing for you. He wants to help you live your best life, the life that he has for you. That's the best life. So now that I've said that, um, I was talking about relationships last night and I just want to want to continue on to healing because I didn't do that. Healing? Healing what? No, it's time to move on. I don't want to be by myself. So on to the next. But I was never fully understanding, well, why didn't things work out? What was wrong with me? Now, I know in my relationships, none of them would have worked out anyway. It was just too many factors um, for that to happen. But either way, there was still things in me that I needed to address. Um, I needed to mature. And that's a big one right there. There's a lot of us grown adults walking around, um, but we're still emotionally immature. We still, um, we don't emotionally have the capacity to have a healthy relationship because of the things that we've been taught, the things that we've not been taught. And I'm speaking for myself. I'm not speaking about anyone else, but I'm speaking about myself. I was very immature in a lot of ways. And at some point, you know, hopefully you, you grow up. Some of us don't. Um, but I just, I, I feel it's important to point out that you have to heal from your pain. You have to heal from whatever it is that you dealt with in your relationships. Reevaluate things. You know, don't carry on. Don't move on. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Don't move on to someone else. Carrying along the same baggage that you had with the last person. I mean, for instance, um, my children's father cheated on me a lot, a lot. And moving forward to the next person I dealt with, I never really could trust them because I always felt like I was looking over my shoulder, I always felt, oh, what are you doing? Mm, I bet you are, you're doing something, you're up to something. And Maybe not at the time they weren't. I know ultimately that they did, but regardless of the fact, that's not the way to live. Who wants to sit there and be involved with someone and you're always wondering if they're being loyal to you? That's not healthy. It's not healthy. It's just, you gotta take time for yourself. You gotta take time for yourself. And Start getting to know yourself better. That's the other thing. You know, start being selfishly in love with yourself. You don't have to be in a relationship right after um, getting out of one. And I'm not speaking to everyone. I know there are people out there that know what to do, but there's someone out there that needs this message right now. And they need that guidance. And I'm just trying to share it because I didn't have it. I didn't have it. People like me... <laughs> I will remember being on Instagram and there was a post um, about infidelity and 
um, women cheating, and there was so much judgment passed. There was so much judgment. As a matter of fact, I remember it was about a woman that was cheating with um, someone's husband and how she felt that he was going to, you know, he was going to uh, leave his wife for her. And the comments were so, so horrible. You know, she, she has no self-worth. She doesn't, she doesn't care about herself. She's stupid. She's dumb. And I responded, she's broken. She's broken. We are so quick to pass judgment on others. We have no idea what's behind all of that. How do they even get to that point? There's a lot of factors to it. But regardless of the fact, some of us are walking around broken and entering into relationships. And it's it's not good. You just go on to the next person and the next person and the next person and the next person. You just keep going. And at some point, do you get tired? Or does that just become your life? Do you just become comfortable with moving on to the next person? And always thinking it's their fault. That it's they're the reason why things aren't working. When you don't actually take a step back and think, wait a minute, maybe it is me. Maybe there's something going on with me that I need to address. And maybe it's not, but I'm, I'm speaking on my own experience, how important it is to reevaluate and to understand yourself and to take time to just be selfish with yourself. Take time to grow that relationship with God. How about that? That's what did it for me. That's what helped heal me was growing a relationship with God. Because if it wasn't for him, I don't know how I would have handled um, the situation I was in. It was very unhealthy. And not only was it depleting me emotionally, but financially, it was depleting me. And God's like, this is not how it works, Cassandra. You're not supposed to be... Um, giving so much of yourself away and you're not even married. That's the other thing. You know, sometimes we give our all into relationships and we're not even married to the person. We're giving um, wifely privileges to boyfriends and we're doing it for years and years and years with men that have no intention of marrying us. And here's a side note to my sisters. A man knows if you are his wife. It doesn't take him years to figure that out. It, it doesn't. They, they know pretty quickly. So if you've been waiting years and years and years and years, like I did, they're not marrying you. They're, con they're conveniently comfortable in the situation that you're in. They know that you tolerate what they provide and it's just enough to keep you around. Again, I'm speaking on what I've dealt with. And it doesn't, it's not the same for everybody, but I'm just saying um, it's important for us to understand these factors in our lives. It's important for us to understand who we are. And God is the only one that really can teach us about that. He's the one that made us. He's the one that's seen everything happen. He's the one that knows more about you than you know about yourself. And so I just, I know I said a lot, I know I'm jumping around, but I just, I'm, I'm praying that you take the time to get in a relationship with God and allow him to help you heal. And when he helps you heal, he breaks off so much pain and hurt and resentment. I remember hating my children's father for the stuff that he put me through. To the point where I was like, I just want you to be as miserable as you made me. And God's like, you cannot be like that. You're carrying around a lot of negativity. You're carrying around a lot of anger. And that is not good for you. That's not healthy. Nor is that, the, that how, that's not how I want you to be. And I had to let go of that. I didn't forget. God's not asking you to forget. But he's asking you to let go of it. And to, to give it to him. And as hard as it was, I had to. I had to give it to him. Because it was more draining for me to be um, hurtful and nasty to my children's father than just letting it go. Because I know God is going to handle that. 
and there's uh, there's nothing I need to do with that. The same thing with the last man that I dealt with. Um, wow, yeah, that was hard. But I had already walked away from or, or pushed out um, a 20-year relationship with a man that treated me horribly. So I knew that if I could move past that, that I definitely could move past this with this last man. But it still hurt. It didn't make it any easier. But it did give me a more strength to say, okay, well, if you could do it with your children's father, you can you can walk past this too. You can move forward. And that's another thing with healing. Sometimes, you know, you keep role playing. Well, what, what happened? What did I do wrong? Um, sometimes things are just not meant to work work out the way you would like them to. They never were meant to work out the way you, you would like them to. Maybe it was a lesson. It was a lesson that you needed. Sometimes we come into people's lives for a season. You know, we're not meant to stay there forever. But we're meant to, to be connected to people long enough to learn from them. And that's what God show, had shown me within the last situationship that I was in is that I needed that lesson. I needed that in order for me to get to this point. And for that, I will for, forever be grateful because if it hadn't been for all the things I went through with that man, I wouldn't be up here right now. I wouldn't have turned my life over to God. That's when I hit rock bottom. And that's when I understood that this is not what I deserve. I was starting to peek around and be like, wait a minute. I think there's something, there's some light there. Maybe I should just go that direction instead of staying where I'm at, remaining where I'm at. It's it's a leap of faith that's necessary. And that's why I'm just, I'm just going to go back and reiterate, healing is so important. You've got to take the time to heal. You've got to take the time to understand what happened. You've got to take the time to understand what you need. And, and you can't do that and give to other people. You've got to just take some space. It's so important. And if you're meant to have a relationship with someone, a healthy one, God will give you that. He'll bless you. I'm counting that he's going to give me that. I know he is. But I'm not going to sit here and stress about it. I'm not going to keep wondering and asking God, when is it going to happen? I'm not worrying about it. God has me doing other things right now. And I'm devoted to this journey that he has me on. And I know that my time, my husband will find me when the timing is perfect, when God's timing is perfect and not a second sooner. But in the meantime, I'm enjoying this time with God and enjoying with what he's teaching, enjoying what he is teaching me and enjoying the peace. And that's one last thing I have to say is the peace that you will gain is, it's amazing. And I say this all the time and, and I can't say it enough because it's the truth. I wake up and I go to bed no matter what's going on in my life, no matter what problems I face, I know that God's handling it. I give it to him and I sleep at night and I walk around with a smile on my face. People are like, why are you so happy? What do you mean? I'm alive and I'm thankful and I'm blessed to have a relationship with God and to understand who I am. Do you understand where I came from? Yeah, I'm going to walk around here happy. I don't care what's going on. So I'm just praying that any of that, I know I was jumping around, but I'm just praying that any of that that I said helps and resonates with you that it's so important to take the time to heal. I don't write this stuff down. I just kind of let it flow. So I'm sorry if I'm all over the place, but just know my heart is overflowing and, and it just wants to share. And um, just sending you love and light and happiness. And I'm praying again that this resonates with someone. So God bless you. And until the next time.